at the time of this recording, it is September 22nd at 11 o'clock in the morning. Beautiful day for the beach. It's probably gonna be a cell phone, GoPro kind of day. But anyway, join me. So the breakfast burrito is so good. I would recommend it. Looks like we could be getting some storm or some kind of system here next weekend. So I just recently started getting back into reading and I really enjoyed this book. Like this is a really good book. It's funny, it's serious, it's just all the feels. So if you're looking for a book, I recommend it. in surgery since I've been to the ocean. First day not wearing a uh, concussion. So we'll see if I swell up, but doing good. Busy day here at the beach. Sometimes I go to the one that's down this way a little bit more. It's a little quieter. But this is where I found parking, so. Looks like some storm clouds, maybe. I'm gonna head out. Starting to swell a little bit, but not as bad as I thought it would be. It was nice to go into the water. Take a minute here and look at the water. Green flag today. There's an iguana literally right next to me. Look 
kind of scared me. <laughs> Sometimes you can see him here drinking water out of the showers. The guy was just trying to pull. He's pulling into a non-parking spot. I don't know if he's dropping off somebody maybe. I don't know. All right, headed home from the beach. Had such a great time. I know I've done this video with you guys before, um, but you know, just wanted to show you what my Sunday is like. I was gonna stop at this cocoa market down here. It's like yoga and like natural vendors but it wasn't running in this morning. So I was like, well, let's go to the beach because I haven't been there. Had a great time, it was beautiful out. Headed over to one of our local like fruits and vegetable meat um, stores, grocery stores. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's called The Boys. And hopefully maybe I could get some videos in there. But since I've had surgery, um, and it was a domino surgery and uh, there was a lot there that had to be fixed and corrected and all that. I've noticed that when I e eat like overly processed food, I swell super bad. So I've been trying really hard to eat healthier, more like, like uh, a banana that's like from, you know, a banana so I've been just trying to eat more non-processed food so let's go in hopefully I can get some video it seems like it's a little nuts in there so we'll we'll see what we can do we I'm looking for cilantro all oh, they have is basil I have basil I'll show you when I get home it's huge all the cheese my favorite All right, so I know this this camera is opposite of all the other ones. My phone, the GoPro, the internet has been not working very well right this afternoon to end the video. But I just want to say thank you so much for just joining me in, in my journey and everything. It was so nice to be able to go to the beach and go in the water and now we're compression. I didn't really swell, so I'm so excited. It just means I'm healing. Um, I did leave just in time though because it looks like it's going to start to pour. Boy, supermarket is so fun. I love it. They have like the coolest things in there, the coolest fruits and vegetables. I got some purple yams. If you can get your hands on purple yams, get them. There's like super good and antioxidants. They're just super nutrient dense um, vegetable. I'm gonna make a sheet pan dinner with that. Um, I did get these donut peaches. I took a bite already. You guys, it is, they are so good. They're so sweet. Um, they It's almost like candy. Like I've been trying so hard not to eat too much junk. And so now like fruit is just really sweet to me. But anyway, I'm headed to Animal Kingdom this week. I am so excited. I have not been to Animal Kingdom since like, I think March. It's one of my favorite parks. Um, there is a system forming out here in the Gulf Coast. It's supposed to maybe hit Tampa area um, Thursday, Friday. We'll see if it hits Fort Myers area and comes across. Um, Orlando will probably get some rain. We'll probably get rain. So anyway, I will keep you all updated. But thank you for joining me. Um, and I can't wait to go to Animal Kingdom. Talk to you all later extra bonus for you a quick meal that i've made um and i make this a lot super easy so i just take whatever vegetable we have i always usually have these little fingerlet fingerlet is that how you say them? potatoes there's the purple yams look how pretty they are and then i always carry or always have like this chicken sausage by i want to say it's like amy amalu something like that you can find it everywhere it has like no preservative it's just like super healthy i cut it up cut everything up put some olive oil in it salt bake it i will take the potatoes 
and the sweet potatoes, the yams, and I'll put them in the microwave for about three minutes, four minutes before I cook them all together because they seem to always take longer to cook. But honestly, it's so easy. Olive oil, make sure you have good olive oil, just some sea salt. You can add any what other kind of um, <clears throat> seasonings or you want, but just make sure it's good quality olive oil and like if you're gonna do a meat, make sure it's like not filled with a lot of preservatives and stuff like that, just chemicals. Like I always say, count chemicals, not calories. And then simple salad, romaine lettuce, cut it up, wash it really good, hard boiled eggs. I put some chicken in there, like one uh, chicken breast, just boil it, shred it up. Couple of uh, some bacon, bacon in there. And then I always, I started using the primal um, ranch dressing. I know like Trader Joe's really makes a really good uh, green goddess that don't have like a lot of stuff in it. It's just you want to stay away from like the seed oils, the canola oil, the vegetable oil, the sunflower, the soybean oil, avocado, good olive oil. Those are what you want to stay. And I've learned this so much just because of the surgery. And I can tell when I'm not eating something I just extremely blow. But anyway, bonus bonus content for you. Just wanted to show you. I think this took me 30 minutes to make. I made this yesterday. The trick is not to put um, the dressing on it. Oh, and I did shred some uh, Parmesan cheese in here. And I think this probably, cooking the ch uh, chicken breast was the longest part. And probably once everything was cooked, about 10 minutes to throw together. So. Anyway, I will see y'all later. Have a great day.